Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight we're going to be talking about how Offset is being put on blast for trying to cheat on Cardi again. Okay, so let me bring y'all back, rewind this, and lay this all out and unpack this because, whoo, child, it's a lot. Okay, so if you guys remember, Cardi B got into this stripper brawl with these strippers. Well, Cardi didn't fight them, but allegedly she got her friends to, you know, engage in this brawl, but it was like a big old fiasco. The stripper turned out to be one of the girls who now, I guess she's dating 6 9 and she got, you know, the rainbow color hair at one point, and she got 6 9 tatted on her. Well, this same girl, before she started dealing with um, Takashi 6 9 she was allegedly dealing with Offset, and they had this thing to which prompted Cardi to check her at the strip club, to which, you know, she said that Cardi got her friends to fight her, and it was just this whole big old deal. And that is the open case that she has right now that she recently got indicted on. Well, they have Cardi been fighting this case. She's been going to court. You know, she's been going to court back and forth, yada, 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 yada. Well, today, the female that she's going to court for, you know, this whole brawl, she just blasted Offset for creeping in her DMs telling her that he missed her. I mean, it's just a lot. Okay, It's just too much. So basically on her Instagram, she posted up this video. The video, she shows that it's legit his page by scrolling through her timeline, going to her DMs, going to Offset's message, and then going to his page to verify so that people could see that it's actually Offset's page. She posted that to her Instagram feed with the caption to where it reads, your wife, Cardi B, has an open criminal case. Why are you writing me? You don't respect her, question mark. There's a lot of ish I haven't exposed yet, but there's a time for that. I'm the queen of talking ish. Now I'm backing it up. Then she went to her Insta story and said, imagine fighting cases for a dude and he still missed the broad. <laughs> I mean, literally, though, like, can you imagine? I mean, I just could not. It's just a whole big old mess. Meanwhile, Gossip in the City was in the comments. As you guys know, she runs this um, like paid website gossip page. And she was like a, a blogger, you know, who would like expose people and do all of this kind of stuff. Now she has it on this other platform. Well, a lot of people were tagging her in the mess like, oh, my God, you know, look at this. This is T da 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 for her to post. And she literally said, like, stop tagging me. I'm not posting this. Merry Christmas. OK, to where people started to accuse her of being paid off by Cardi B, which there was a lot of allegations by that, because um, since then, to my knowledge, I don't think that she posts Cardi B. And there was, you know, allegations and rumors that Cardi B paid her off not to, like, expose a story or whatever and people were sitting there telling her that she was scared to which she pretty much said listen scared never I just keep my word as long as others keep theirs respected so I guess that means listen she made her word that she wasn't gonna expose Cardi so sis ain't about to expose Cardi because she keeping her word so stop tagging her because she ain't gonna expose her or do none of that Anyway, so meanwhile, over on Cardi B's page, she harried up with the quickness. As soon as these uh, videos popped up, a girl put him on blast saying that he was in her DM. Then, you know, Cardi B posted up a video of a screen of, I guess it was Offset Mom showing that his page is, I guess, suspended or whatever. Your account is suspended and it's not permitted to perform this action. And I, I have this password. I know. Correct. You just gotta, um, let's call these people for I'm calling now. The fact that me and Offset just woke up, I know y'all saw that I put earlier that we broke night. Miss Latavia's mom. Hey, Miss Tab. Hey, y'all. She just I woke us I, up because it's like, oh my gosh, what the hell? I can't open, I can't change anything here. It's okay, something like, I got, this shit happened to me before. Here, just relax, okay? Hey, guys. So as you can see, this guy Instagram has been hacked. Now let me tell y'all something. My bad. We just we look crazy. We just woke up like we've been sick throughout the whole damn night. 
This boy got a cold. I have like a very crazy stomach ache. I, I'm about to go to the hospital because I, I feel like it's a food poisoning. But anyways, you know, I know, I, babe, I know you done some dumb shit. I know he done, we, everybody know he done some dumb shit. But come on, now. niggas ain't dumb. Niggas ain't crazy. We've been so good. We had, we had a sweet weekend. Um, life has been good. Niggas ain't gonna play themselves like that. That's why I'm not entertaining it. That's why I'm not getting no rowdy. Go ahead, y'all. Simple as that. Okay? Love you guys. Okay, so they did the video trying to prove like, oh, his his account is compromised. You know, we can't access it. But if you take a closer look, you will see that in the video that um, the girl that she was in the bar issue with, she got a message on Instagram. Now, Instagram and Twitter are two different social media accounts. When the mom is showing that his account is a compromised she's showing a twitter account where it says that his twitter was suspended twitter and instagram are two totally different things she didn't get a message on twitter she got a message on instagram so why they're showing a twitter account i mean i guess that's to pull wool over your eyes or whatever and i understand you know they want to do damage control but i mean hey it i i don't know she also posted a screenshot of an email or a message sent to Twitter. If you see, it says, you know, the support team of Twitter. And then she then posted up a video of Instagram's login screen where she's trying to resend the link. I guess she thinks that people are not going to see that Twitter and Instagram are two different social media accounts. Or whatever, she's not showing messages to Instagram. She's showing messages to Twitter. And then she posts a video of Instagram, like a screen record of her putting his name and then saying reset password. I mean, I like one plus one to equal two. Going to Twitter, writing and showing me a screen on Twitter and then not showing me anything from Instagram, but then showing a, a reset password page that any of us could do on our Instagram at any time. I mean, <laughs> I get it, but it ain't adding up to me. Also, around that time that she sent the message or the girl that she's involved in the whole fiasco with, around the time that she got a message, and this was caught by um, Danny Lee TV. She just sent me this as I'm working on the video. But, um, so check out her page or whatever, but around the time that he sent a message or this hacker sent a message, I guess they also was hacking on his story. Cause around the same time he was posting to his story at the same time. So while you're posting to your story and you're reposting that you sent JT some money and you're posting your wrist and you're posting a watch, a hacker is in your DM sending a girl a message at the same time. I don't know. Like my girl, Danny Lee TV, she spotted this. Also, people are under Cardi B's comments as we speak. I went to her comments because she keeps deleting this reset password video after she already showed us that they were trying to cover it up by Twitter, now she keeps deleting and reposting this reset password thing. And people also have caught this too. And they're calling it out on her comments like, girl, come on now. Like, listen, he was posting to his story, but then all of a sudden now, you know, like if you look at the comments, they are catching on and they're saying it like, Literally, as I'm working on this video, people are sending me stuff. It's crazy. But right when she deleted and reposted this reset link, <laughs> I mean, does she? I, I don't know. Sometimes, I mean, I think Cardi really be thinking that we stupid. I, I don't know. I, I think she really do think that we be stupid. Like, she, she. So right as she deleted this reset password link, you know, that any of us could do to our Instagram at any time. Like, you know, and people are under her comments like, girl, that's not how it work if your page is hacked. But like, you know, immediately when she sent that, these people are, are writing this stuff saying, at Cardi B, he posted on his story 14 hours ago, his watch, which was the same time he DM'd her. His tweets and stories were normal until she called him out this morning, laughed my ass off. Don't cover for him. We still love you. I mean, it is... <laughs> 
y'all crazy also jade posted again after that and this is what jade had to say the hack started after you got exposed why it didn't start at 1 a.m then she followed it up with this video of takashi you're mad you're mad <laughs> stupid <laughs> I mean, she say they hacked though. She say he hacked. He was hacked. You know, he was he was posting stuff to his story, and the hacker, I guess, was posting on his behalf. You guys, like the the hacker was posting on his behalf. You know, they were re they were doing him a favor. Like I'm gonna do you a favor and repost what JT posted. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna I'm gonna post your re you know what I'm saying like hey. I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they say Cardi B said that he was hacked. Then to make the hack a little more convincing, they decided or the hacker just recently within the last 10 minutes decided to now throw up hacked like post. I mean, he didn't do it 12 hours ago when he messaged the girl. It just happened within the last 10 minutes. But, you know. The, the hacker is covering all bases to let y'all know that, you know, the page, the Twitter account <laughs> is compromised when this message happened to the girl on Instagram. <laughs> I'm not about to play with y'all today. Like, I'm not. Like, that girl say that he was hacked, okay? Like, that's what she said. She said that he was hacked. Ooh, child. Okay, no, for real, for real, for real. Okay, no, let's be serious. Let's think about this. Let's think about this for real. Word. I mean, I understand it's embarrassing. I mean, I'd be embarrassed too. I don't know how, I mean, just me thinking logically, let's think about this. Somebody hacks his page, they hack his account. I do not, me just logically thinking, I don't think that a hacker is going to, go to his page, go through the lens of hacking and then send a message to the girl that she got a case with and say, hey, I miss you, thinking and hoping that the girl is going to blast it. Like, how is the hacker going to know that she's going to blast the messages, which to my knowledge, I don't remember her ever blasting or putting offset on blast or anything like that. From my memory, the girl pretty much was at the bar. She got confronted. The fight happened. And then there was this case. Um, so I don't know that a hacker would be like, oh, you know, let me go write the girl that she got into it with because she going to blast it. I mean, I don't know. But you guys let me know what y'all think about it. It's just a whole lot of whole lot of. Do you guys think that Offset sent the message or do you guys think that it was a hacker? Let me know down below. And mind you, the hacker would have been having to be in his account writing her while he was posting to his Instagram story at the same time. So I don't know. I mean, it's possible that, you know, the hacker could have been in his page at the same time. And, you know, while he's posting to his story and the hacker is sending messages I, I mean, <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know down below.